all right good morning YouTube we are back at Slim's automotive repair shop and I had a customer request uh, on this sunshade and a viewer request to see uh, detailed on how to take it apart and what we're going to need to take it apart and how to do it step by step so to fulfill that wish uh, since I've already got this one torn apart what we're going to do is I'm going to go with you guys step by step show you the tools you're going to need on how to put it back together and when you want to take it apart just reverse the process everything will be the same and identical to what you got it should be so let's get started first thing you're going to need to do is when you get that sunshade uh, you're going to have your your sunroof obviously like that your shade will probably be closed so it isn't draping down in your vision what you want to do is go ahead come to your panel right there to your buttons and you're gonna reel this thing back about halfway and you're gonna take your knife and you're gonna cut it you're gonna cut all that loose crap off of the the sliding bar that that sits you know right there that drags it back and forth you're just gonna cut that excess material off hit your button and you're gonna run that bar all the way back right to where mine is no biggie everything's good so let's get up out this driver's seat and we're going to take you guys to the back. So your next step after you do that is we're going to start taking it apart. Um, let me go ahead and find my handy dandy trusty dusty blue point snap on trim removal tool. $22 off the truck. Man this thing is it is just phenomenal. It is out of this world. This is an everyday tool right here. You can get that part number. PBF T10 is the tool number. Man, you'll use this thing every day for everything. I take it out of my drawer first thing in the morning. Don't put it back away until I go home. So now we crawled up in this back seat. What we got are these little gimmicks right here and depending on your year make model body style it's going to be in there two ways you want to take your trim tool and just give it a little you know back behind there not too hard and there's little clips just little plastic clips that hold it in just slide it up there we go And it just pops out like that. And it should be zip tied to the headliner unless somebody else has been in here and they cut it for whatever reason because people are weird. And then you're going to take your handle. Sorry, my neighbor's getting a delivery. It's going to be a little noisy. But your grab handle right here. And you're just going to pull it down. I apologize if it's shaky guys, I'm trying to do this one handed, hold the camera and do this job. But take your trim tool and just give it a little twist, a little pop, just like that. And that pops off. Now these two bolts, one right there and one behind that cover, those are 8 millimeter. So you're going to need to get an 8 millimeter socket. Me, personally, I use my handy dandy trusty dusty snap on 3 8 impact driver for almost everything. Best investment I ever made. So that's it, you're just going to take that too, right there, and you're going to grab it right in the center and just give it a tug and it'll come off. I already got this one back in place. I got the request halfway through putting it back together, so we're going to go ahead and just do what we got to do to show you guys how to get it apart real quick. So, what's next? I'm back here. We got another one of those little hangers right there, as you can see. Hopefully you can see. There's a hole right there, and another one up in there that takes little tabs. But they just pull straight out. You just put your, your trim tool there, and give it a little twist, and they'll pop right out. Now, if the tabs happen to stay in, no big deal. They're just plastic, they flex and it'll go ahead and pull out easy. Now when you pull your panels off, you'll see just like this right here, some of your clips will stay in, a pair of needle nose pliers will help get those out. Oh, so next off, let's go on to this other side. And 
and as you can see this side is still down because I have not installed that grab handle yet but coming up oh okay. coming up after you get these handles off you're gonna want to do the same thing to the other side on that take those out and now your headliner should be free after you take out your trim pieces right here on the back what you're gonna need there's a screw right here is a seven millimeter so you're gonna need a seven millimeter deep well and a telescopic magnet you don't want to drop those little bolts down there you'll never find them it makes it hell trust me it makes it hell and then for your B pillar over this way you can see I've still got that one taken apart. Let's see if we can't focus this. There we go. I still got it taken apart. Still got this one taken apart. But when you put it up there and it sits in its natural location, it looks like this. In that too, right behind there is one seven millimeter bolt. But to get this, like I said, we are trying to put it back together. You're gonna start and just get that seat belt. You can see there's a tab. That tab stays in there. What you can do is push this sideways, lock it in, and then come to this one that goes vertical, lock it in. Make sure your seat belt is in the very full top location. Lock that into place, just like that. Come back around and move your adjuster up. I don't know if you guys see that. I hardly can. Make sure you're moving. Make sure it's going to hit the target area. And make sure all your trim is back in, just like that. Sometimes I just find it easier to take this and just pull it on off to the side until I get what I need done. Done makes it a lot easier then we come back in make sure this mechanism works proper and it does you can have to drop it down so you can have access to that bolt hole well, we got a problem Yippers, we got an issue, so bear with me for one second. I think I'm going to need two hands to get this one done. Let's see if we can't. There we go. Get it aimed proper. There we go. That should be what we need, and it's not. Still. Best thing I can tell you is don't force it. Everything will slide in together. Everything should be good. If you gotta force it, it's not proper. You're gonna end up breaking this cheap plastic. Yep, like this is starting to pop out. We just put that back into place. And again, we just slide it on in. And if you don't get it first shot, who cares? You're at least saving yourself a few thousand dollars by doing this project yourself. It don't take much. It don't take many tools. It doesn't take too much know-how. And there we go. It is back how it belongs. Let's see if we can't find our bolt hole there. Now you can go ahead. And leave those two grab handles up top. But we got to grab a light and our screw. So be right back. Oh, 
right, now that we're back, we're going to go ahead and take our telescoping magnet so we don't drop this screw down in there. And let's see if we can't angle this proper without dropping it. There we go. Now you should see that it fit up in there nice. You just want to keep pressure on it, tension, until you can get your socket. And again, you always want to hand start everything no matter the size of the screw, no matter what is going on. You don't want to strip nothing out. Like that's going in a little rough, so he's going to back it out. There we go. A couple threads holding that in real nice. So, you don't want no chug -a lugs on that. We're not trying to slay it. It's all just cheap plastic. Make sure that moves good. Man, that is slicker than snot on the doorknob, my friend. That is going good. And then we're going to look around, figure out what we did with our other piece. Grab that up real quick for us. is which all right so now we want to take and tilt our seat usually you want to run your seats all the way forward since we're not using the entire uh, front of this vehicle you're not going to need to be in the front seat everything is towards the back like I was saying even these front grab handles, these front grab handles can stay in position. You don't got to move them. They ain't nothing. Uh, I wouldn't even worry about them. But if you do, those are 8 millimeter screws as well. So now we're going to go ahead, since we got our top piece in. And let's turn this camera a little bit you can see this bottom piece that we took off you can see it's got a ridge down here and it's just gonna sit down there like that make sure you get it behind your seat belt and all this is held on by you guessed it plastic snaps and you can see on the bottom there's little tabs that just sit right down in there just like that they snap in and then you want to put your plastic and it little little click little snap that's all you're looking for you want to get your gasket peel it with your fingers a pick try not to poke holes in it and peel it up and look at that, voila. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a winner, winner chicken dinner with that one. Make sure your seat belt is gonna cooperate. You want it on the outside, as you can see. Everything is on the outside, nothing runs through it up till the top. And then this piece, as you can see, there's a little tiny tab in there that hooks up into there. So you just want to give it a little stretch, a little smack, voila. That is how you do the front. And then we're going to run our gasket back into place. Again, I'm trying to do this one-handed, so it's not the best. Please bear with me. All 
right. So, a little tap and your gasket will seat right back into place. We didn't take it all off. Everything should thread real nice. Everything's seating just how it should. Just make sure that your hands are nice and clean. Some Dawn dish soap and a nail brush will work good enough to get all the dirt and crap. If not, man, it leaves nasty fingerprints like that. Let's see if we get some light. You can see where I've been leaving dirt fingerprints and trails and everything else on this thing. I got a lot of cleaning to do on it. So getting back to it. There's that grab handle, like I said, we put it in. It's just an eight millimeter bolt. And let's hop up in this thing. And we'll get to show you, man. All right. There is that little hanger that's hanging floppy. Again, just watch your zip tie. And it just pushes up in there nice and easy. It should. You'll hear the clicks. Little tap. Now to get that down right here, you just want to give it a good solid just tug with your fingers. You don't want to use a tool. You don't want to use nothing. There's just small uh, little clips up in there. And if I can find my flashlight let's see can we see probably not it's already up in there but there's little plastic clips that hold it in that attach to the headliner along this whole rail and it just clips into the the aluminum here no big strength you don't need to be he-man to pull it off it'll come off real good so our next step with these is to take your assembly here and there's a nice little plug and again you know what let's see if we can't hang this joker up all right let's see Man, nothing's going to want to cooperate today, I'll tell y'all that. Okay, so we'll flip it. Sorry if y'all are getting vertigo from the camera movement. But you plug that on in. And then you just push it on in, just like that. Easy peasy. And then your grab handle. It ain't nothing major. Just flip us around. Is just going to push in. It has little plastic nubs that will keep that retained in place. Just like that. And that pushes your headliner in even more to keep it taut. So there we go with that. Now we just need to get the two screws. So what we're going to do is set you all down for just a second while I run and get the screws. Give me one second, ladies and gentlemen. And I am in some funny positions trying to do this for y'all. So that's your eight millimeter screw. That's going to go up in there. Again, make sure them threads can't stress that enough. Then number two goes in just like that. And 
come on. Nothing wants to work. There we go. Give that a little what for? Just like that. Flip your little caps back up. Just like that. Bam. Handles are in. Oh. Wow, being upside down will throw you for a little loop right there. My word. And then we're going to come over to our gasket. And again, we're just going to flip it. Because that's going to help hold that headliner on the outside. No water getting in. Just like, man, that's magnificent. Look at that. And then when we're done, it's going to look just like that. Lots of dirt because I am a dirty, nasty man at the moment. It's okay. I got some really good cleaner that comes from Mopar. It's called Mopar Total Clean. I suggest y'all get yourself some. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Let's hit our PC is turned off. Fantastic. And the next step is I'm going to actually be able to put y'all down on my cart here and show you how to put these side panels together and this trunk back together. That way it'll be 100% and you guys can see exactly what goes into it. So where it is? There it is. There's that, uh, man, don't tell me this thing's already falling apart. Nope, it's just spinning, man. I just got myself a new camera holder, and it doesn't seem to be doing the best. First time using it. So we're going to take our hanger piece right there, and as you can see, it's only two little studs, plastic at that, that hold this clip on. <laughs> And we're going to push it into that hole right there. I'm going to have to go around to the other door to get that pushed in. But I'm not really too concerned about it at the moment. So let's get y'all put down so I can get to work and show you how to do all this. As soon as I fix this stupid camera mount because it's bugging the crap out of me. Okay, let's see if that works better now. All right, let's get y'all put down. Get ourselves a good view of what's going to be going on. There we go. Now, I wasn't planning on a reveal because I'm sure nobody wants to see my ugly mug, but... I apologize for the appearance ahead of time. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to have, after you pull these panels, you're going to have some of these uh, little plastic clips. 100% guaranteed you're going to have some left in the, the sheet metal here. So just grab your pliers, your needle nose, get on in here and go for a look got one right there and they pop right out just be easy with them pop that back in yep, we got another one and I think that may be for the bottom piece but we're just gonna set that off to the side and when you do this make sure these D rings are sticking out as best as they can I know they ain't always going to be able to go, some are worn out, but you want to make your life a whole lot easier installing this stuff, that way you don't lose them, you're going to come back through, here is your wire for your little light, go ahead and plug that sucker on in, 
little satisfying click. Make sure stuff lines up. We've got another one right here. Try not to break them. They're a pain in the rear end to try to find new ones. And you can see there's going to be a little groove here. You want to make sure your headliner fits back behind that. If not, it can get to be a pain to try to make it fit correctly again. You got guide pins. There we go. As you can see, it just snaps back into place. Nice and easy. A little tap. Now we're going to go around to the other side. Make sure this front is going how it should. Everything fits. And right there, if you can see that little flap, that is another seven millimeter screw behind this airbag plastic symbol. Make sure you use that handy dandy little trim tool. This thing will pop right out, no specific way. It is always clipped at the bottom. Just remember, always at the bottom. It is never hanging from the top. So always go to the top while it's in there. Pry from your top down, it'll come right out. Make sure that gasket on your door is worked. That will impede you from getting it in fit tight 100%. Got to work that gasket about halfway. I haven't done this side yet. We're going to work our way around. Things going to click. Real nice. Fantastic. Go. That's your side panel, side piece. Our next piece. Oh, that's our bottom piece. I'm sorry, our top piece there. Here is our bottom section. It's going to go in. I know it's freaking huge. You're going to have to thread it around this wheel well down here. Oh, flip it over. Make sure you got all your little clips in there. Otherwise, it'll be loose. It'll rattle around. It'll be a pain in the ass. You don't want to lose nothing back there. It can get annoying as hell listening to it rattle. Go. All of our clips. Deal for all our clips in place. Make sure of it. All right. You just want to get it in the general position where it's at and come around to the front. Work it in, get your belt through. Make sure your seat belt is not impeding you. This thing will tie up all over the place like a vine in the jungle or something. And then you're going to proceed to fight with it for about nine hours until you can get it into place. Work your bottom step. Get that in. Oh. Now I'm having to fight with a plastic clip I missed. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I'm trying to prevent from happening to you. What a pain. Walk 
them out. And we're going to use this gasket. Has to be down. Now, this is a pain in the butt because this gasket everywhere around these door jams and roof and everything else you take apart. You gotta move this stupid gasket everywhere and reseal it so there's no leaks and everything fits proper. And everything should just snap together. Make sure it all lines up. Man. Again, I can't stress it enough. Make sure you get all them stupid plastic clips. You'll hear them satisfying clicks as it all fits together. There we go. And that, for everyone who wants to know, is your fuse panel for back here. A lot of your uh, fuel module, ABS uh, is under the hood, but your fuel module, your lift gate module, we went through that on another video, uh, is all back here down in the boot. And you can see everything just, man, it just snaps. Real nice and easy. Make sure we got that proper into place. Just like that. And before you seal everything up, like I just did, like a big dummy, make sure you get everything plugged back up. I've forgotten my cigarette lighter here, my power outlet. There we go. Now we're good. Everything's good. Little trap door's going to fall open. Make sure to try to keep those D-rings out the best you can. A little persuasion. Man, look at that. Everything. Comes together like a dream. Right, and that is your one side. Now the next step we're going to do is take, since we're already over here, little ring discussions. You're going to want to pull up on that. You see it is pliable. You don't want to go ham on it. But just pull it up and feed that D-ring through it just like that and it all click into place. D-ring sits down. Come over here to the second one. Clicks into place, everything is gravy at this point. All right, so let's get going on our next side. Got a quick pause for a drink of water. Please excuse me. Alright, let's get y'all wonderful viewers turn back around to this side so you can see what I'm about to do. Get you positioned. Hopefully we got a good angle and everyone can see exactly what's going on. We're going to flip this camera. Man. Let's see. Try to get this angle just right for you guys to make sure we can see it proper. How's that look? Not that you can answer me, but I guess we'll go with the rhetorical question there. So same thing on this side. 
we're just going to look and make sure everything is good and clear. All these clips are out. We've got a couple stragglers here. It looks like we got these clips go on down to the bottom. Well, we got a couple here. I'm going to get. There we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, same thing on this side as we just did on that side. Make sure everything is good. Put your pins right here, these nice long pins, there's a guide hole right there. Just make sure that lines up, that'll make your life exponentially easy. And you clip the couple back here into place. And you can see it's already supporting itself. And that's what you want, makes it nice and easy. Come. Just work it a little bit. Make sure you ain't pinching nothing. Oh. Make sure you got your lights plugged up. They just pop out. Sometimes you put the panel in without paying attention. Oh, don't want to fight with you. There we go. Just plug her on in. Snap it back into place. Go from tap. figure out why this doesn't want to agree. Again, keep in mind what I told you about those gaskets. Make sure because that is just enough room to keep you from getting those little plastic trim pieces seated completely. Seated up proper. Run our gasket, make sure it's solid. We'll worry about those little tabs here in a minute once we get everything back in proper. Those little trim pieces will be probably the last thing that we do because they're not such a big deal. We'll go ahead and get our bottom piece. And again, we're going to thread it on in. And it's just, just to show you, ladies and gentlemen, it's just a plastic down there at your bottom kick plate that on the metal piece it sticks down this is guided in by this pin right there and it clips in from the bottom 
and on the back side as you can see it's just plastic trim pins that hold it in these things are <laughs> they are fantastic they are well built I'm joking this is probably some of the cheapest crap I've ever dealt with in my life I can't stand it everything's got to be a plastic push pin a rubber gasket a Nothing can be made solid anymore, and it's about irritating and aggravating. So, again, here we go. We're going to drop that in, just like that. Make sure your seat belt. Just like that. There we go. It'll drop into place with enough persuasion and some gentle, kind words. like that gasket like I said man this gasket will be the death of you it'll make you cuss and swear this is just enough to keep you from getting this done proper everything will try to hang you up thing just gonna want to fight me the whole way. Man. Fantastic. So after a little bit of fighting, a little bit of arguing with it, it finally snaps into place. Got our gasket good and seated. And just like the other side, we're going to come back on around to this back. Make sure it all lines up. And just clips in. A little smack around. Oh. And I don't know if we can see that. If not, let's get a good camera angle on it. That D-ring that I was telling y'all about, make sure you got them poking out just like that one is. I did not on this one, and it ended up flipping up on me. So now we gotta pull this back apart a little bit. And persuade that little booger to come on out and play nice. There we go. Again, gasket. Most important thing is gaskets. These things got enough problems with leaking on their own. We don't need to add to its misery. Right. There we go. And again, we're going to grab our escutcheons. Pop them up in here. Again, we just take it, 
grab it with two fingers, put a little tension on it, pop it up in there, and it looks fantastic. Oh. Next thing we're going to want to do here, if you still have this on your vehicle, I'm not sure how many of you do. I believe it's going to be it's going to be a T30. Right there, torque spit T30. And that is going to remove this little post. This little post is put in there, and man, it's just soft aluminum. They are very, very squishy, just soft, soft aluminum. Depending on how long they've been in there, how many people have been messing around with it, if they don't want to come out, don't force them, or if you do, you're going to need a pipe wrench to do it. Uh, then it just tears them up. And you're going to screw them into place. Again, start them with your fingers. A little short ratchet. And there's one on each side. All right, let's get to this other one. Now for all you Cadillac owners, you know exactly where these posts go. Right there. You can see I'm not using my handy dandy trusty dusty 3 8 impact for this. Man, they will they will strip out quick. There's no need for it. You just want a little tension. They don't hold nothing. They don't hold no weight. I think they just hold that little divider. So, yep. There we go, our posts are in. And that's going to help with holding the, the side panels on real nice. So I think uh, next is we got to put that spare tire back in. Now, we don't got to take the spare tire up out of here. I did because I dropped a little tiny screw while I was in here. Somebody's got this thing all sorts of tore up in here. And we're gonna go ahead and kick you over man what a what a nightmare people get a flat tire and they don't want to put the jacks and tools and all that back together how they should be and unfortunately we can't move on with our video until we get this put back proper how it should be the rest of this video won't just won't be possible because nothing will fit right all right almost there all right 
way. Now the stupid spare tire goes back in. There we go. Yeah, wish I didn't have to take it out, but I wasn't using my little telescoping magnet. I dropped a stupid bolt. And man, that caused me all sorts of headaches, as you can see. Now we'll go ahead, and just like when we did that module, we're going to take our styrofoam, fit it back in there real nice. Just like that. Fantastic. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh my goodness, look at this. We're messing up already. We got some styrofoam screws to put down in there. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for reminding me. Here's these stupid cap screws that go on here. Again, all this had to come apart because I dropped a screw. You're not going to have to take this apart to do your headliner. The styrofoam can stay in. Just watch what you're doing so you don't drop that screw. Let's grab the T30 again. Find our 3A impact. get on down. Oh, that ain't it. It's going to be a little bit bigger. What do we got? Oh, that's it. It is a T45. Ladies and gentlemen, a T45 will get those. There we go. What do we got here? Alright, everything looks like it's put together now. Go ahead and stand up your trunk support, drop in your styrofoam. And then we're gonna grab, we're gonna go ahead and grab our trunk trim piece, the latch piece. fits down in there. And I'll tell you what, this lady's had this brand new and this thing has just been well used. I'm not gonna say well maintained, but this vehicle has been very well used. Not that these things are made solid to begin with. Got the little trap door put back down. Like I said, remember to make sure you get all those stupid plastic tabs. Hold up so they don't cause you a headache. Snap them on into place. Flip her on over and here we go. Sets down, locks into place, grab our styrofoam screws, pop them in, let's see, y'all can't even see what the world I'm doing, them uh, oh man, okay, I'm going to have to work on this stand when I get done with this video, this styrofoam screws go right there. Let's push them back down. And now we are going to grab the channel, I believe. The nice uh, luggage channel that belongs in here. I think that's a little bit better of an angle. And this channel... I lied to you nice people. 
we've got another pile of trim pieces here we're going to lay out. And these only go in one way. You'll see the dimple here. And that dimple faces the back of the vehicle. This is going to go over on that side. This one is going to come over this side. Make sure you get it up underneath that Velcro. Gotta love the Velcro. And that's it. Just locks down. Not a big deal. And we take our track. Again with the stupid Velcro. Make sure you still got that telescoping uh, magnet handy so we can get them screws out of that channel. So there we go. We got the one screw. We'll go ahead and put it down in there. The second screw. It's nice and set. The third screw doesn't want to play nice. We've got it here. Let's get her lined up. Figure out why this nub don't want to line up. Well, there it is. Just drop on in. Grab your little magnet, guide that screw on in. There we go. Look at that, channel is in. Grab our second side. Lay our piece down. and put it back together just like it is with that little puzzle piece here to lock it in. Now we figure out where nothing's lining up. Not a big deal. Grab that handy dandy little magnet again. Run back to the front. Usually, people got a lot of crap stuck in these channels. I don't know why everybody's car's got to be a trash can. I really, it's beyond my math. Everyone just dumps their crap in their car. And then they bring it to the shop and say, hey, fix my car. All we got to do, and I believe this is a T30 as well. Most of these uh, torque bits in this vehicle are going to be a T30. Let's make sure before I lie to you guys. And by George, it is. It is a T30. At least I got that right today. Make 
sure it wants to stay. No, these screws aren't stripping out. There's just a lot of dirt and debris in there that I can't get to. The screws got to make it past that. That's why I preach so hard. I'm cleaning it, starting everything by hand so nothing strips. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your back track. Next thing we're going to do, put the board back in. After we seat our last two floor pieces here, we're going to put our trunk board back into place, kind of. Pull everything out, off to the side. Go ahead and lock that back in. Come around to the front, a couple more push pins, plastic push pins. You're going to have to lift up the Velcro on the back of these seats to gain access to those push pins. There we go. Your Velcro should fall back into place naturally. that velcro give a little tap once they're lined up re-velcro and that's that back into place now that should be it this young lady had the uh, extra option for the cargo separator so we're gonna go ahead and put that back in There we go, there's a cargo separator. Next we're going to do is put the, go back to where those pins were, those nice soft aluminum pins. Put that back in. And it should seat with just a little click. Once you hear the click, it's in place. Just like that. There you guys go. That's your trunk. That's how you get it all back together. I just got a couple more screws to run. As you can see. Oh, yep. Getting this picked up. As you can see now. Right there where that, oh, get into focus. Right there where that little tab is flipped. We got to put the, the screws in there right there that's going to be a seven millimeter that goes in there and straight across that's a seven millimeter that goes in there and then those handles again are eight those little hangers pop out with uh, just your trim tool and you do not need to pop out that front handle save yourself some time and effort and we've been over how that seat belt goes in and what you're going to do is the same exact thing that you did on that passenger side. You're going to come around and do to this driver's side. But for sake and time of this video, we're already running on an hour. My word. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here. And good luck to y'all again. Any questions, put them in the comments. I try to respond to each and every one of you. Best of luck. God bless y'all. And I hope to see you soon.